Uh, in last session, we finished the relationships, and today we're going to talk about uh, Power Query Editor, so which is literally the kitchen of Power BI. We can do a lot of transformation and adjusting the uh, values of Power BI. So to do to go for uh, Power Query, go to uh, Home, then Transform Data, which is say that uh, use Power Query Editor to connect, prepare, and transform your data. So we hit uh, Transform Data. Okay, and it literally it takes you to a different software, which is Power Query Editor. So you see, another screen will pop up. So here, this is Power BI, and here is Power Query Editor. So Power Query Editor, I'm not going to talk about all the features in Power uh, Query, but I will speak about what exactly I'm using. So the first thing we want to talk about in Power Query is the uh, applied steps. So in Power Query, there is no undo. However, all the information or the steps are stored in Power Query. So here, you see here, these are the applied steps. And for example, if we deleted this column, and if we deleted uh, this uh, another column here, okay? So you see here that these are stored here. So if we deleted this step, everything will go back. Okay, so here you can in apply steps you can see all all the information all the the changes that you did in in, in the Power Query. So for example, if we uh, want to replace the values here, go to replace values null and replace null with zero. So this one automatically replace everything and stored in applied steps. Uh, if we want to, uh, for example. Uh, replace uh, the zero to whatever number. So one, two, three, four, five. So here all zeros changed. Here this one, I want to transfer null to any different values, not zero, any different values. So I will pick whatever, four, four, three, three, two, two, hit okay. And you see everything is applied in the steps. So if I want to, undo this undo this so easy i can do that okay so this is uh, how power query works that everything stored in the uh, applied steps okay what about if i want to change the data type so in, in in every column you'll find the data type so here in wbs you find that it is a text uh, type okay uh, if you check another column, for example, uh, any other column like um, like uh, date here, you can find this is the data type is date. Here in the finish, data type is date. Uh, so you can see the symbol, very small symbol here. This is calendar. It means that it is a date value. Okay. Uh, what if uh, I want to change the data uh, type? So let me go for any uh, other column like like this one, for example. If I want to change it to a fixed uh, decimal, so I can hit this one, replace the current, and this will increase or change the data value. I have also one more thing to say about a Power Query. So here, this is the resources resource table, okay? And if we pick any activity, this one, for example, Okay, this activity is it has only one value in July 14. However, this, uh, for example, this this activity uh, it has two values in April and May. Okay, this doesn't work for Power BI. Power BI need everything as a column. Okay, so I don't need all these empty cells. I need everything to be as a columns. So as database. So how to transfer this, all these values, okay, to columns, okay. So if we go to the resource table and go back here, you see here, this is the distribution. I can choose all these columns, okay, choose all, and go to transform, fine. I'm checking all these columns and go to unbeaved columns. So what is it? I let me let me first uh, change the 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 new uh, column. 
so this is date okay and i can change the data type go to uh, yeah to data type and change date and in the value okay uh, i can also change this to number and the value let me rename this one so i i'm going to rename it um this is the august 14 update so i'll call it i'll call it uh, august 14 budget okay so let me show you what happened here in this uh, activity this activity here let me copy it and let's go back to uh, the power uh, query and let's go to activity id i won't search for this activity i won't show you what happened okay let me search for it paste okay hit okay okay so see what happened the power query literally doubled the activity so the two values 54 and 74 he made uh, the power query made two rows sorry okay so here you can see that 54 in april 74 in may okay in power query now it is two rows okay two rows here uh, we can do it again for the baseline just to make it clear for you choose all the columns and unbeave column see it made all these values in just in two columns date and the budget so i'm calling this date i'm calling this baseline budget and let me change the type so this one is a date this one is a number okay let me do it one more uh, this is uh, done uh, let me do it from in october 13 again choose all the columns and i'm with column everything will be transferred to only two columns which is uh, the format that power bi needed and you see everything is uh, stored in the applied steps okay you can undo anything you want let me change the types here this one date this one number this one number okay so and at the, at, the, at the end you have to hit apply and close so now everything will be applied to power pi okay and that's all that's all we need in power query now and see you next session we will speak about the visuals and we'll start doing the visuals now we have done all the customization and we need for the excel sheet and and in power pi